Hello everyone, Sigmalator here. Welcome back to Silent Hill 4. Yeah, I've got the key. Let's see if I can figure this out. Anything new going out here? Let's just check. You again. That's the same pattern as before. Right, nothing new there. Let's go creep on our cute neighbour. Why, why, why is this here? All right, nothing there. All right, let's head back out. See if I can figure out how. Yes, enter the hole. How I get out of that loop. Oh, you're back. I definitely can't return the key to the to this, can I? No. Okay, so I'm stuck with the key regardless. Anything around here? No. All right, then. Okay. No. I don't like this. Oh, here we go. The holder of this key will wander for eternity. Rusty bloody key. Right, no clues there, really. What the hell is going on here? Alright, as much as I hate to do this. Right, okay. What I need to do is I need to go back to the apartment. 
Yes, I had to look it up because otherwise I was going to be stuck in there forever. I am not an expert at these games. Let's so go back to the apartment. When the game decides we're back. I mean, technically I could have just loaded the game, but never mind. We're here now. Then we put the key in there. Pack car from Subway World, it shows a woman that says temptation. What do I need that for, I wonder? Right, we put the key in there. And we head back through the hole. Then we get back to the orphanage, go through the hole there, and then we can recollect the key. Progress will be made. Not today, Mr. Spooky Man. Yes, it's a very scary noise. No. Oh, damn it, ran right into you. Never mind. Back here. And he's still drinking that chocolate milk. Can I have that back? I didn't realize it was infinite. Infinite chocolate milk sounds really good right now. Right, back to the apartment. Now we can grab the key. And my health gets restored as well. Bonus. Right, give me that key back. Thank you. Do I even still need the uh, tokens for the train station? <sighs> Why highlight no automatically? Just highlight yes automatically. Don't subvert my expectations. The last time we that happened, we ended up with The Last Jedi. <sighs> Awful film. Right, I have returned. Enjoying the milk. Right, so we can now enter the orphanage. Child's drawing. There's a scribbled note. Have you found a lesser yet? How is Walter's progress coming along? Send me a report. Oh, a lesser. I can hear other feet, other foot, foot noises. I know what I mean when I speak. Do not worry too much about that. Nothing else around here. Oh, it's you. Uh, I wonder what they did here. I suspect you know a lot more than you're letting on. 
Und was going on here? This. It's falling apart and I can't even read most of the pages. Here's a part I can read. The second sign, and God said, offer the blood of the ten sinners and the white oil. But then release from the bonds of the flesh and gain the power of heaven from the darkness and void. Bring forth gloom and gird thyself with despair for the giver of wisdom. The third sign, a God's, and God said, return to the source through sin's temptation. Oh, I have a thing that has that's about temptation. Under the watchful eye of the demon, wander alone in the formless chaos. Only then will the four, four atonements be in alignment. That just sounds like a load of old waffle. I'll be right with you. All right. Source placard. Ah, you go with the other one. Okay, okay why? That's not good. One seven one two one. I finally met him, the one the nosy guy talked about, the devil. One seven one two one. Okay. Got a lot of numbers. I don't know what the numbers a are for. News report. In a forest near Silent Hill, the burned corpse of a 30-year-old male was discovered earlier today. The police have ruled it a homicide and are investigating. The numbers 17121 were reportedly carved into the man's body. Due to the marks on the victim, the police are investigating possible links to the Walter Sullivan case 10 years ago. Interesting. Wait, what? There are scraps from magazines and articles, but I don't remember why I cut them out. Right, let's see, this, is there anything new? And it's super rare to have a sunny day in Silent Hill. I was just a lucky tourist to show up on that day, I guess. What is the point of these numbers? What do the numbers mean, Rhodes? Rabbit balloon. Right, nothing interesting out there. Hello? Is that the super? This is the superintendent. Are you in there, Henry? Yes. Help me! There's something wrong with this roof! Help! Let me out of here! Is anybody home? What's going on here?
the right key. Oh, um, I'm sure I heard something in there. Yeah. That sound. What sound? It's the same one as back then. Ten years ago. Walter. Okay. Oh, there's another handprint. So that's 17 now in total. Not sure what the significance is. Wait, Cynthia died. There was another handprint. And now the guy with the stutter has died and another handprint appeared. So maybe that's what that is. Hey, anything new here? Nope. Right, let's save quickly. Now we've made some progress, I don't want to lose it. Turn from the forest world. And next, we'll be taking a look at the weather. Tonight, we can expect scattered clouds clearing by morning. Tomorrow looks to be quite a nice day with a warm and sunny weather continuing through the evening and the weekend. We can expect more of the same. So I hope you all get out there and uh, enjoy your weekend. Yeah, that would be nice. I said, like, don't seem to be able to leave. Can't leave. All right, nothing out of the ordinary, really. Big rabbit balloon. Fair enough. Right, um... Let's put you away. And put those away as well for now, because I don't think I'll need them. Alright, back through the hole. Oh, it's got bigger again. The hole has changed again. And I think I can hear children's voices. They've been there for a while, Henry. Alright, where are we going now? Oh, okay. This is new. Where am I? Alright, I'm not controlling this. Alright, now I am. Okay, what's here? I'm sick of being watched.
Okay. All right, let's get the hell out of here. Hello. Interesting. In when the shadow went over, then they stopped moving. Oh, hello. Get the hell out of here. Oh. Okay, we're not going to talk to them then. He's, he's going to kill me. Who's going to kill you? Who's going to kill me? He, he's going to kill me. Okay, so Walter is going to kill you. Uh, sloppy written note on the ground. Lucky I finally escaped from this cell and decided to take a careful look around the, this building. The scariest place was the first floor basement. There's a kitchen in the north northeast, but next door in the northwest is a death chamber. To get in there, you have to punch in the right numbers. I don't know the numbers, and it was too dark to even see the panel, so I didn't go in. Ah, that's what those numbers are for, maybe. Yes. Graffiti. It still looks like a kid's writing. I'm being watched from the middle middle room. Yeah, okay, so there's someone in there watching these prisoners. This is bizarre. Even by Silent Hill standards, this is weird. What's that? Okay, I'm back here. Get me the hell out of here. I'm trying, but I seem to be stuck in a loop. There's the way back. That's good to know. Another written note. Uh, to get to the surveillance rooms in the middle of this complex, you have to use the corpse disposal chutes in the cells. However, on the first and second floors, these cells are locked. That's so the kids wouldn't discover them. So you have to get to the first floor from one of the cells on the third floor. I know, uh, I know how to do it, but it's really a pain. Also, the lights only work on the third floor. Right, so... I need... A torch, still. Right, there's a ladder. Screw you. Okay, this brought me back here. Fair enough. So 
So I was going down, that makes sense. At least these tunnels are looking a bit better constructed. Not sure I would have trusted them before. Is the TV on? It is. Weird. I remember turning this on. Even when I turn the power off, the screen stays on. I remember pressing the button on the remote control. Okay. And next, we'll be taking a look at the weather. Tonight, we can... Yeah, we've had that one. Oh, hello. Lately, I've been feeling like my life is in serious danger. I've been through a lot in my life, but I've never felt this kind of pure animal fear. In case something happens to me, I've decided to write down what I've learned for whoever for whoever you are that's living in the apartment now. I've been investigating the mass murder that took place seven years ago in which ten people were killed in ten days. They were killed in a variety of ways, but the one thing they had in common was that each corpse had the following numbers in order of their deaths carved into them. Right, hang on, let's take a picture of that. No, that's not the one I wanted. Camera, there we go. The name of their killer, it was carved in as well. His name was Walter Sullivan, April 4. Hey, Soup. Anything new in the fridge? No. Lost my chalky, infinite chalky milk. Neighbour, can you help me? Nope. She is out. Not sure what to do with the TV. No balloons. Alright, you know what? I'm going to end this episode here. Because we've made some progress and I'm still none the wiser as to what's going on. Water Prison World. Interesting. Thank you for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I'll be sick later. This has been Silent Hill 4, and I'll catch you next time. Take care now.